His epitaph will be taken verbatim from the stenciled shingle fixed above the door of his inner office. Berenson's article, The Concrete Masterpiece. Three dangling participles, two split infinitives, and nine spelling errors in the first sentence alone. Some of those are intentional. <laughs> the Kremen story, revisions to a manifesto. We asked for 2,500 words, and she came in at 14,000, plus footnotes, endnotes, a glossary, and two epilogues. It's one of her best. <laughs> Sazerac. Impossible to fact check. He changes all the names and only writes about hobos, pimps, and junkies. But these are his people. How about Roebuck Wright? His door's locked, but I could hear the keys clacking. Don't rush him. The question is, who gets killed? There's one piece too many, even if we print another double issue, which we can't afford under any circumstances. A message from the foreman. One hour to press. You're fired. Really? Don't cry in my office. It began as a holiday. Eager to escape a bright future on the Great Plains, Arthur Howitzer Jr. transformed the series of travelogue columns into the French Dispatch, a factual weekly report on the subjects of world politics, the arts, high and low, and diverse stories of human interest. You don't think it's almost too seedy this time? No, I don't. For decent people. It's supposed to be charming. He assembled a team of the best expatriate journalists of his time. Berenson, Sazerac, Kremens, Roebuck Wright. These were his people. Just try to make it sound like you wrote it that way on purpose. We take as the subject of tonight's lecture, Mr. Moses Rosenthal. Certainly the loudest artistic voice of his rowdy generation. Simone Naked Cell Block J Hobby Room. I want to buy it. It's not for sale. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes. In short, the picture was a sensation. The kids did this. Obliterated a thousand years of Republican authority in less than a fortnight. What do they want? Freedom, full stop. I'm naked, Mrs. Kremens. I can see that. Lieutenant Nescafier is the great exemplar of the mode of cuisine known as police cooking. The aromas of the kitchen cast a spell, which was to be mortally broken. As you know by now, we have kidnapped your son. A message from the foreman. One hour to press. You're fired. Really? Don't cry in my office.